Leaves are falling. It's getting cooler. And yeah, all those garden pests are leaving my garden. But wait, what are they really doing? Many insects like this grasshopper will be laying eggs in your garden. If we don't interrupt that process, then the eggs will develop and hatch out in the spring. Hi, I'm Amy, Master Gardener and Environmental Educator. A couple of years ago, I made a video on putting your garden to bed at the end of the season. I want to expand on that and look at reducing our insect populations by getting rid of them in the fall. Did you have squash bugs this season? Yeah, me too. They are a common pest and they multiply quickly. In the case of the squash bug, the adult will burrow down in the soil for the winter and then reemerge to lay eggs in the spring. So if it's late fall, don't give up. Pick up that debris and throw it away, along with all the bugs on it. Honestly, I wouldn't even compost it, because those bugs are pretty mobile, and they will leave the compost pile if it gets too hot and go back to the garden. Insects can't dig very deep and typically live in the top two to 10 inches of the soil. Your garden soil is the perfect winter home for them because it's light and has good drainage. I would till the area where you grew squash and cucumbers, anything in that family, and expose any bugs in the soil. Then let the wild birds do their thing. Or let your chickens go and do their thing. You know, with all the emphasis on vegetarian chicken feeds and eggs, we forget that chickens are omnivores. Scratching and looking for bugs is natural for them and a good way to keep your chickens healthy. I'm big on chicken tractors, which allow my hens to access the ground, yet keeps them safe from predators. You just scoot the tractor to a new spot every day. Trench composting is popular in urban areas and is often encouraged at community gardens. This is when you dig a hole in the garden soil and bury your plant debris. Now this is a good way to recycle those nutrients, but it is also a good way to grow the bug population. So one community garden I was in encouraged trench composting and they have a terrible problem with the Colorado potato beetle, which overwinters as adults in the soil. So if you're in a community garden or an urban area, I would haul my garden debris to an off-site composting facility. These are becoming more and more common. Like squash beetles, tilling or flipping the garden soil can be a good way to expose potato bugs. Excuse me. One trick is to watch the weather and turn the soil over on a sunny afternoon when there is an ex expected frost that night. I often talk about using neem to control pests while they are bothering crops at the moment, but you can also spray your soil to help kill overwintering pests. So when I was a little girl, my grandfather would go and till the garden after an early snow before the ground was frozen. He called it poor man's nitrogen. Snow does add nitrogen to the soil, but more importantly, the cold can kill overwintering bugs and soil diseases. Cabbage worms overwinter as pupae under dead plants and leaves in your garden. They change into butterflies and emerge in spring to lay eggs and devour your young seedlings. The cabbage worm or loper overwinter as pupa, just like other butterfly and moth species. You can look for them in the fall. Aphids are a pest on many plants and they do overwinter. Aphids may overwinter as adult females or as eggs in plant debris or on your perennials. The adults that overwinter are wingless females called stem mothers. 
Come spring, they can give birth to living young without mating. Within a two-week period, one female can produce 50 to 100 active nymphs. So, best to get rid of them now. You may use diatomaceous earth to kill aphids during the growing season. In the fall, give your perennials or standing fall plants a dusting to kill any aphids that may be looking for winter lodging. We do want to keep in mind that many beneficial insects are also overwintering, and I will talk more about them in the next video. Check out my playlist on controlling insect pests. I hope your fall garden is doing very well and your pantry is full. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.